Okay, so today we're going to talk about just the city of ancient Rome, or at least that's the main topic. The origins of ancient Rome go back to Romulus and Remus, who were brothers. Romulus is going to kill Remus, uh, naming Rome after himself. There is a really good YouTube video on that, by the way, which I highly recommend. From Romulus, you're going to have a handful of kings and then what's known as the Roman Republic, which a lot of people know a lot about. Uh, the SPQR with the little eagle is from the Roman Republic, and that stands for just the people and Rome. Uh, it might be a little variation to that. You also have the Roman emperors who are going to rule over the city of Rome, starting from Augustus up until the fall of Rome, the civilization. Just real quick on the Roman civilization, at its peak, they're going to own one-fifth of the world's population. Rome, the city, is going to be the first city ever to reach one million people. You get a pretty decent deal if you lived in ancient Rome. Ancient Rome would have had running water. Uh, Claudia, who Claudius, a Roman emperor, is going to build the Aqua, Aqua Claudia and going to bring in water to the city. So Rome really has a sewer system. You have running water. You have bathhouses. Now, these bathhouses seem silly today where people sat around in baths together. But back then, that would have been a place to conduct business, to relax. You didn't have to work as much in ancient Rome. The wealthier people only worked five, six hours before just kind of hanging out, eating, going to these bathhouses, going to museums all day. The lower class of populated people in ancient Rome would have lived in some pretty crammed apartments, uh, which were known to catch on fire. So they actually did have like renter's insurance to a degree. There is actually uh, cases of insurance fraud. That's kind of fun to look into. Behind me are some ruins of ancient Rome. Uh, which you can still see today. If somebody Venmo's me a lot of money, I'll go take pictures and real videos here. Uh, but Roman walls and Roman architecture holds up really well due to the Roman cement, which was not only better than a lot of places in the ancient world, but it still holds up well today. Ancient Rome could even build underwater very, very well due to this cement. Uh, Rome was known for the Appian Way. The Appian Way was roads. Uh, and Rome builds a ton of roads. That's why you've probably heard the phrase, all roads lead to Rome. The ruins here also include some of Trajan's uh, old marketplace. Now, emperors in ancient Rome, in order to uh, kind of leave their mark on the city, they would build. So a lot of them would build bathhouses. Trajan builds, you know, the marketplace here. It's one of the first marketplaces in the world. It's kind of like a shopping mall. You also have the Colosseum, which, of course, a lot of people know the Colosseum. That was free for Romans. Uh, Roman citizens were men that wore togas, at least that's how you can identify the men as a citizen. One third of people in Rome were actually slaves, which checks out because of all the people they conquered. Uh, look into Rome the city. I'm running out of time, so those are just some fun facts. Per always, hopefully you learned a little bit. Love you all.